Well, thank you very much. I'm delighted to be here. This is this is really a great thing, and it, it sounds to me from the uh, when this began with with Governor Haley, it looks like you moved very very quickly. But one thing that uh, was said, it, I hear this every time I've had the opportunity the last few years to speak to businesses that are coming to South Carolina, whether they're coming from across the ocean or from coming somewhere else in the country. As they say, there's, there's no place else. The people of South Carolina are different from any other place that they've ever been, any, any place in the world. In fact, the chairman of BMW, when they were expanding in the 25th year there, by the way, BMW in Greer produces, he already produces one new vehicle every 61.7 seconds. Dr. Cole, did you know that? 61.7 seconds. That is, uh, that's something. And they're getting ready to expand. As you know, Volvo we hadn't even finished with their first plant yet, and they're already expanding. That, that shows the kind of confidence that we like for people to have in us because it's the kind of confidence that, that we have in you. And what Barry said is exactly right. This is, this is the beginning of a beautiful relationship and we expect it to thrive and prosper. And we want this to happen all over our state. And at one point I was wondering a couple of years ago if we'd have room for all these companies uh, coming in, but I promise you we do. And the, the, what I see coming from the people that I've spoken to is that South Carolina is in the forefront, not only of business development, all, not only tourism. Uh, Charleston, South Carolina, very often is number one in the world, tourist destination, always just about number one in the United States. We've got so many things like that that are off the scale that it's, it's really hard for other places to compete. And our technical college system is the best in the United States. We have relationships, our three research universities, MUSC, USC, and Clemson. Not only do they collaborate with each other, giving them enormous uh, power, but also they collaborate with businesses as, they, as they're doing here. And uh, the, the businesses are expanding and so happy to be here. Everyone has said the idea of having a major research university that they can partner with to do build better things, to make it work better, to make the lives of people better is something that is intriguing. So the assets we have from those research universities are great port, magnificent college, uh, uh, technical college system that's getting stronger by the day, the beautiful beaches, the beautiful mountains, the lowest labor participation in the United States because the, the attitudes are so sharp and so strong it's not necessary. All those things add up to progress for the state of South Carolina. Two final points, as Bill Gates once said, the greatest asset that his company had has is the people's imagination who work there. That is, that's the asset. That's what he's talking about, innovation off the scale. I put it in a simpler term, I call it brain power. And when you, when you combine this kind of technology, these kind of people, with these kind of institutions that we have here, we can go off the scale. And from what I've seen, from what has been done by leadership in the counties, at the state level, at, at every level, and seeing to it that business thrives in South Carolina, we are going right straight to the top. And our, our opportunity for economic prosperity is better than we've ever seen before. And it's better than anybody else is in the country. So this is a great day for South Carolina, as Governor Haley would say. And it's getting any better, and as I say, the best is yet to come, to come. And I remember one statement from NASCAR, if you ever get a chance to go to Darwin, to, to see that race, if you haven't been there, how many people have been to Darwin? Look at that. Isn't it fantastic? When you talk about excellence and precision and sophistication, that's not an old mud track race. The, the one, the closest race in 1986, after 400 miles at that time, average speed, including pit stops, everything else, 125 miles an hour, was won by two one thousandths of a second. That's precision, that's excellence. And excellence, whether it's in athletics or, or NASCAR or anything else, or companies like this, excellence begins excellence begins excellence. And that's where we're going. And as they say in NASCAR, if you're not first, you're last. And we intend to be first, and it is a delight for me representing the 4.6 
happy people. 4.6 million South Carolinians welcome you again to the state of South Carolina, to Berkeley County, best place on earth, South Carolina, to live, work, and raise a family. And thank you, and I have a present. On behalf of those 4.6 million happy, healthy South Carolinians, we welcome you. We're glad to be here. We look forward to working with you in the future. Yes.